This video will cover the topic, Sketching an Angle in Standard Position. What is standard position? Take a look at a circle imposed on an axis. An angle theta, in standard position, has its initial side on the positive x-axis. If theta is positive, we rotate the terminal side in the counterclockwise direction. If theta is negative, we rotate the terminal side in the clockwise direction. An angle that makes a complete revolution of the circle sweeps two pi radians. Using this fact, we can find the radian measures of some quarter turn angles. If we go one fourth of the way around the circle, we have made one fourth of a revolution, which means our angle will measure one fourth of two pi. One fourth of two pi is equal to pi halves radians. If we go one half of the way around the circle, we have made one half of a revolution, which means our angle will measure one half of two pi. Half of two pi is equal to pi radians. Finally, if we go three fourths of the way around the circle, we have made three fourths of a revolution, which means our angle will measure three fourths of two pi. Three fourths of two pi is equal to three pi over two radians. Using a similar approach, we can find the radian measures of the special angle shown as follows. Okay, so each angle corresponds to some fraction of the whole circle? Exactly. Why don't we try an example problem? Let's say we're asked to sketch theta equals five pi thirds in standard position. Since the angle is positive, we rotate the terminal side in the counterclockwise direction. We know that five pi thirds is between three pi halves and two pi. But five pi over three is closer to three pi over two than two pi, right? That's right, so we can draw our angle as follows. Let's try another example. Let's sketch theta equals negative pi sixth in standard position. Okay, so since the angle is negative, we rotate the terminal side in the clockwise direction, right? That's right. We also see that negative pi sixth is between zero and negative pi halves. The angle is closer to zero, so we can draw our angle as follows. Okay, so to sketch an angle in standard position, the initial side of our angle lies on the x-axis. If theta is positive, we rotate the terminal side of the angle counterclockwise, and if theta is negative, we rotate the terminal side of the angle clockwise. One full revolution is two pi radians, so we can determine where to draw our angle based on what fraction of the circle our desired angle will cover. That's exactly right. Great work. 